Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. We shall now pray the Novena to the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Let us all stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. All together, you are, are all beautiful, beautiful Mary, Mary, and the, the original, original stain is not in you. You are the glory of Jerusalem. You are the joy of Israel. You give honor to our people. You are the advocate of sinners. O Mary, Virgin most prudent, Mother most merciful, pray for us, intercede for us with the Lord Jesus Christ. O God, who by the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin prepared a worthy dwelling for your Son, grant, we pray, that as you preserved her from every stain by virtue of the death of your Son, which you foresaw, so through her intercession, we too may be cleansed and admitted to your presence. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us all kneel for the Novena Prayer. All together, O, o most pure, pure Virgin, Virgin Mary, Mary conceived, conceived without, without sin, from the, the very, very first instant, instant you were entirely immaculate. O glorious Mary, full of grace, you are the Mother of God, the Queen of angels and of men. I humbly venerate you as the chosen Mother of my Savior, Jesus Christ. The Prince of Peace and the Lord of Lords chose you for the singular grace and honor of being his beloved mother. By the power of his cross, he preserved you from all sin. Therefore, by his power and love, I have hope and bold confidence in your prayers for my holiness and salvation. I pray that your prayers will bring me to imitate your holiness and submission to Jesus and the divine will. Queen of heaven, I beg you to beg my Savior to grant me these requests. Let us now silently mention our intentions. My Holy Mother, I know that you were obedient to the will of God in making this petition. I know that God's will is more perfect than mine. So grant that I may receive God's grace with humility as you did. As my final request, I ask that you pray for me to increase in faith in our risen Lord. I ask that you pray for me to increase in hope in our risen Lord. I ask that you pray for me to increase in love for the risen Jesus. Amen. Prayer for the day. O my Queen and Mother, to you I offer myself humbly and heartily that all my wishes and desires may be according to your holy will. To, you, to show you my devotion, I promise you that all my words, thoughts, and deeds will be done according to your will, like a son who wholly trusts his own mother. O oh, my mother, preserve and defend me in all dangers as you would protect your own son. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Litany of the Blessed Virgin Mary 
Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, hear us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Mother of God, pray for us. Holy Virgin of Virgins, pray for us mother of christ pray for us mother of the church pray for us mother of mercy pray for us mother of divine grace pray for us mother of hope pray for us mother most pure pray for us mother most chaste pray for us mother inviolate pray for us mother undefiled pray for us mother most amiable pray for us mother most admirable pray for us mother of good counsel pray for us mother of our creator pray for us mother of our savior pray for us Virgin most prudent, pray for us. Virgin most venerable, pray for us. Virgin most renowned, pray for us. Virgin most powerful, pray for us. Virgin most merciful, pray for us. Virgin most faithful, pray for us. Mirror of justice, pray for us. Seat of wisdom, pray for us. Cause of our joy, pray for us. Spiritual vessel, pray for us. Us. Vessel of honor, pray for us. Singular vessel of devotion, pray for us. Mystical rose, pray for us. Tower of David, pray for us. Tower of ivory, pray for us. House of gold, pray for us. Ark of the covenant, pray for us. Gate of heaven, pray for us. Morning star, pray for us. Health of the sick. Pray for us. Refuge of sinners. Pray for us. Solace of migrants. Pray for us. Comforter of the afflicted. Pray for us. Help of Christians. Pray for us. Queen of angels. Pray for us. Queen of patriarchs. Pray for us. Queen of prophets. Pray for us. Queen of apostles. Pray for us. Queen of martyrs. Pray for us. Queen of confessors, pray for us. Queen of virgins, pray for us. Queen of all saints, pray for us. Queen conceived without original sin, pray for us. Queen assumed into heaven, pray for us. Queen of the most holy rosary, pray for us. Queen of families, pray for us. Queen of peace, pray for us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. The Memorare. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection implored your help, or sought your intercession, was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto you, O Virgin of virgins, my mother. To you do I come, before you I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in your mercy, Hear and answer me. Amen. Pope Francis's Prayer to Mary Immaculate Virgin Most Holy and Immaculate, to you, the honor of our people and our loving protector, do we turn with loving trust. You are all beautiful, O Mary. In you there is no sin. Awaken in all of us a renewed desire for holiness. May the splendor of truth shine forth in our words. The song of charity resound in our works. 
purity, and chastity abide in our hearts and bodies, and the full beauty of the gospel be evident in our lives. You are all beautiful, O Mary. In you the Word of God became flesh. Help us always to heed the Lord's voice. May we never be indifferent to the cry of the poor or untouched by the sufferings of the sick and those in need. May we be sensitive to the loneliness of the elderly and the vulnerability of children and always love and cherish the life of every human being. You are all beautiful, O Mary. In you is the fullness of joy, born of life with God. Help us never to forget the meaning of our earthly journey. May the kindly light of faith illumine our days. The comforting power of hope direct our steps. The contagious warmth of love stir our hearts. And may our gaze be fixed on God in whom true joy is found. You are all beautiful, O Mary. Hear our prayer. Graciously hear our plea. May the beauty of God's merciful love in Jesus abide in our hearts. And may this divine beauty save us, our city, and the entire world. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We shall now prepare ourselves for the Holy Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And Amen. with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, as we continue to prepare for this season of Advent, our Lord Jesus Christ teaches us today to give importance to integrity. Integrity of our words. Integrity of our actions. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Mass, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Stir up your power, O Lord, and come to our help with mighty strength that what our sins impede, the grace of your mercy may hasten. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On that day, they will sing this song in the land of Judah. A strong city have we. He sets up walls and ramparts to protect us. Open up the gates to let in a nation that is just, one that keeps faith. A nation of firm purpose you keep in peace. In peace, 
for its trust in you. Trust in the Lord forever, for the Lord is an eternal rock. He humbles those in high places, and the lofty city he brings down. He tumbles it to the ground, levels it with the dust. It is trampled underfoot by the needy, by the footsteps of the poor. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Open to me the gates of justice. I will enter them and give thanks to the Lord. This gate is the Lord's. The just shall enter it. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me and have been my Savior. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Lord, grant salvation. O Lord, grant prosperity. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God, and he has given us light. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Please all stand. the Lord while he may be found. Call him while he is near. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only the one who does the will of my heavenly Father. Everyone who listens to these words of mine and acts on them will be like a wise man who built his house on rock. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and buffeted the house, but it did not collapse. It had been set solidly on rock. And everyone who listens to these words of mine but does not act on them will be like a fool who built his house on sand. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and buffeted the house, and it collapsed and was completely ruined." Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, our Lord Jesus Christ today gives us a lesson on integrity. 
Jesus in the gospel today praises the person who listens to God's words and acts on them. Hindi ba't ganyan ang integridad? Kung ano ang salita, yan din ang gawa. That is integrity according to Jesus. What you hear as words, what you say as your words, you do them and you act on them. That is why Jesus uses the example of a house. What do we say when the house is strongly built? The integrity of the house is strong. But Jesus said, If you listen to my words, but you do not act on them, then your integrity is weak, like a house built on sand. Kapag ang sinasabi mo, kapag ang salita ay hindi naman nakikita sa gawa, mahina ang integridad mo. How many of us still keep our integrity? Sino kaya sa atin ang pinapahalagahan pa ang integridad? Let us give uh, an important example. Let us look at our work. Let us look at our jobs. How many of us keep the integrity in the work that we do? Ilan kaya sa atin ang pinakahalagahan ang integridad ng ating trabaho? What you say you will do, you do. Balikan siguro natin yung pangako natin sa trabaho natin. Ano ang sinasabi natin, gagawin natin sa trabaho natin? Ginagawa ba natin? Baka ito ang job description mo, pero puro cellphone ka lang ng cellphone. Walang integrity. Let us look back at our jobs and see. Baka ang job description mo, you are a treasurer, no? sa, sa Tagalog, ingat yaman. Baka hindi mo iniingatan yung yaman. Baka binubulsa mo ang yaman. No? There is no integrity. Do we still have integrity in what we do? What we say is also what we do. That is why in our first reading today from the book of the prophet Isaiah, God praises the nation with a firm purpose. A nation who keeps their purpose. This is our purpose as a nation, then we will keep it and do it. That is why when Israel forgets their purpose and they act not according to their purpose, they are not praised by God. My dear brothers and sisters, let us be reminded of the importance of integrity. The consonance between your words and your action. Sana po mga kapatid, sa umagang ito, sa paghahanda natin para sa Kapaskuhan, pahalagahan natin ang integridad. Kung ano ang sinabi mo, yan din ang gagawin mo. Yan ang integridad. We pray that in this season of Advent, we might ask for forgiveness for the times that we have not done our job well, that we have forgotten 
to do what we have said we will do and so keep our integrity. Amen. Please all stand. Confident that He will grant us what we ask for, we make our prayer to God the Father with a sincere heart. For every petition, let us say, Loving Father, hear our prayer. Loving Father, hear our prayer. That the Pope, bishops, priests, and religious may be faithful to their commitment to God, let us pray to the Lord. Loving Father, hear our prayer. That politicians and all those who serve in government may be faithful to their promises and obligations, let us pray to the Lord. Loving Father, hear our prayer. That our faith may find solid ground in our examples rather than in our words let us pray to the lord loving father hear our prayer that all of us who handle duties and responsibilities may carry out our tasks efficiently let us pray to the lord loving father hear our prayer that our departed relatives and friends may finally receive their heavenly reward let us pray to the Lord. Loving Father, hear our prayer. Father, you are our strength in time of need. Open our hearts to your grace and lead us into your kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please all stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, we pray, O Lord, these offerings we make, gathered from among your gifts to us. And may what you grant us to celebrate devoutly here below gain for us the prize of eternal redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, 
through Christ our Lord. For He assumed at His first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation. That when He comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please all kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please all stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection 
and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope, and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please all kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen.
Please all stand. Let us pray. May these mysteries, O Lord, in which we have participated, profit us, we pray. For even now, as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us now all kneel as we pray the prayer of entrustment to the Immaculate Conception. O most blessed Virgin Mary, you who were preserved from the stain of original sin, most loving and powerful patron of the Philippines, to you also be endless praise, everlasting veneration, and thanksgiving in Christ Jesus. O Immaculate Mother, our most kind Mother, our most sweet and most exalted Queen, with grateful hearts we praise your mercies and fly to your protection. O Blessed Lady, you who captivate with your sweetness the hearts of men, you who have captivated our hearts, you have captivated the hearts of our people also. You have established, fostered, and strengthened the foundations of the faith in our beloved land by your good patronage, as manifested in so many visible proofs of your maternal love. We are yours. We wish to be yours. Show yourself a mother and patron to us. Guard us and protect us through your most powerful intercession. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petitions in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Let us all stand. Before we end this Mass, we would like to thank the Philippine Association of Colleges and Universities Commission on Accreditation as they hold their 33rd Annual General Assembly, which also coincides with the 49th founding anniversary of their association. We thank their group for joining in our celebration today through the online broadcast of this Mass. We also thank the Lord for your work in our schools and universities as you keep the integrity of our education system so that whatever you may talk about in this um, gathering, it may not only remain in words, but Jesus reminds us that integrity will happen when we act on these words. Congratulations to all of you and may the Lord bless your endeavors and may Our Lady pray for you. The Lord be with you and with your spirit and may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Thanks.